the legacy of Sultan Murat I battle bloodline and struggle for power. In the heart of the 14th century, the Ottoman Empire stood ready to assert its dominance over the territories of Anatolia and the Balkans. At the head of this formidable empire was Sultan Murat, a man known for his military prowess and tireless efforts to expand the Ottoman Empire. Sultan Murat was born in 1326 in the small town of Amazia, located along the banks of the Yeshilermak River in Anatolia. He came from a distinguished lineage as the son of Orhan I, the second ruler of the Ottoman Empire, and the grandson of Osman I, the founder of the empire. He grew up amidst the wilderness of Amazia, where he gained an understanding of the diverse cultures and traditions of Anatolia, which would later shape his approach to inclusive and visionary governance. Sultan Murad was not only a formidable warrior, but also a visionary leader. He assumed power in 1362 after the death of his father, Orhan. His reign marked the continuation of the Ottoman expansion begun by his predecessors. The Ottomans achieved significant conquests. The Battle of Maritza in 1371 proved to be a turning point as Murad achieved a significant victory against a coalition of Balkan states. The Ottomans now firmly established their presence in the Balkans. Two years later, Thessaloniki, a precious Byzantine city, fell to Ottoman forces. Murad's skill further expanded Ottoman influence in the region. The conquest of Sofia in 1382 and Skopje in 1385 continued to strengthen the Ottoman position in the Balkans. One of the most memorable events in Murat's reign was the Battle of Kosovo, which took place in 1389. In this decisive battle, the Ottoman Empire faced a coalition of Christian forces, primarily the Serbian army under Duke Lazar Rebeljanovic. The details surrounding the death of Murat I are the subject of historical debates and legends, since the circumstances of his death are not entirely clear. According to some reports, Murad I was killed in battle. It is said that while he was engaged in battle, an assassin disguised as a Christian soldier managed to approach him and kill him. This event is often attributed to the assassin Miloš Obilić, a Serbian knight. Other accounts suggest that Murad I was killed in the heat of battle, shot down by an enemy soldier. The exact circumstances of his death remain uncertain. Regardless of the manner of his death, the loss of Sultan Murat III during the Battle of Kosovo had a profound effect on the Ottoman Empire as he was succeeded by his son Bayezid III. The battle was fierce and brutal, with neither side achieving a decisive victory. Nevertheless, the legacy of this conflict has survived in the annals of history. battlefield, the personal life of Sultan Murat I played a significant role in shaping the Ottoman Empire. During his reign, he had several wives, including a Byzantine princess. The Byzantine princess who married Sultan Murat of the Ottoman Empire was Princess Helena, also known as Nilifer Hatun in Turkish. Her parents were Emperor John V, Paleologus of the Byzantine Empire, and Empress Helena Kantakuzain. Princess Helena's marriage to Sultan Murat was part of a political alliance between the Byzantine Empire and the Ottoman Empire during the 14th century. This marriage was a significant event in the history of both empires and played a role in the complex dynamics of the time. From these marriages, he had several sons, two of whom shaped the destiny of the empire, Bayezid, who would later become Bayezid I, and Yaqub, known as Yaqub Celebi, were among his sons.
After Murat's death in 1389, a struggle for power broke out within the empire. Both Bayezid and Yakub wanted the Ottoman throne, leading to a turbulent period of internal strife known as the Ottoman Interregnum. This period was marked by civil wars and power struggles, while each son tried to secure his own access to the throne. The empire was going through turmoil as two brothers fought for power. In the end, Bayezid emerged victorious, securing the Ottoman throne. He continued his father's legacy, building on territorial gains and administrative reforms. The rule of Sultan Murat left an indelible mark on the Ottoman Empire. His military conquests and administrative reforms laid the foundations for future Ottoman expansion and the establishment of one of the most powerful empires in history. As the sun set on the 14th century, the Ottomans stood ready. If you found this video informative and enjoyable, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to History Scope Stories for more captivating stories from the Ottoman Empire. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next episode.